with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Over the summer, President Biden signed the National Parkinson's Project into law. It's the first ever federal legislation dedicated to ending Parkinson's. Our blessing Uwachuku shares why there's a new push for the White House to step in yet again. This is a disease that impacts more than 1 million Americans, most notably film and sports stars Michael J. Fox and most recently Brett Favre. Those on the advocacy side of this disease say the banning of a specific herbicide could be a game changer. Let's go get some fruit. Carrie Durham and her husband David are inseparable these days. <laughs> How long have we been married? Let me see, years. 43 years. After nearly five decades of marriage, the North Texas couple has seen it all, but never expected this tough chapter in their relationship. I was diagnosed on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Uh, 2013. She learned she had Parkinson's, the same disease her dad and great grandfather had as well. I still have the muscles to smile, but it's just harder to, and it's affected my singing voice definitely, which has been heartbreaking. Be more like Jesus. For over a decade, she has battled with crippling anxiety attacks that have made her body stiff and rigid, as well as fatigue. See, this is what happens. I lose my words. Nearly 90,000 Americans are diagnosed annually. A million have been impacted in the U.S., about 58,000 people in Texas, and more than 10 million around the world, according to the Parkinson's Foundation. In Durham's case, it was a genetic disorder. Um, in a lot of cases, it's, env it's environmental. Alyssa Talley is one of the leaders of the Parkinson's Foundation for the South Central Chapter. She says one specific herbicide have them wanting the White House to step in. Parkwat in general is one of the herbicides that's being very closely looked at because it not only affects the people who are working closely with it, whether they're distributing or working in the areas that are sprayed with it, but also it carries well in the air. The Parkinson's Foundation says this herbicide is thought to increase Parkinson's risk by as much as 500%. In October, a DC nonprofit called Beyond Pesticides urged the Environmental Protection Agency to ban the weed killer. We're seeing um, an increase in the incidence of young onset Parkinson's. So people in their 40s, even in their 30s, um, last spring, I met someone who was diagnosed at the age of 27. Durham was in her late 50s when she was diagnosed with the disease. Now she and her husband are spending the rest of their life raising awareness and funds with the hope to see a cure in their lifetime, or at least in their children's lifetime. In Fort Worth, Blessing Wichiku, Spectrum News.